folks, DC7 here, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 15, and we're here on the Iron Horse Farm once again. And, uh, well, wowzer, this is the uh, first time I've actually uh, been able to play this game with all the settings uh, jammed as high as they will go, basically. Um, yeah, my new... Uh, my new video card arrived today, and I just finished installing it. This is the first thing I've actually seen it do. And, uh, seems to work pretty darn good, um, with recording on. Now, the last time I was on this map, whenever I get near this harvester, although it doesn't have errors, uh, my frame rate would drop to about 18. Uh, that was without recording. When I'd record, it would drop to about 14. Right now, it's sitting at about 36. Six, so not bad and that's with everything I used to have the settings on medium I now have them set on like I said everything is set on super high so very nice I'm impressed it's um I said I bought a it's a um, Nvidia because I do like Nvidia better than uh, AMD or uh, sorry <laughs> there we go Is that going to stop? Nice. Uh, GTX 750 Titanium. Uh, the overclock model Strix, they call it, I believe. That's uh, super silent technology, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, really nice card, anyway. But, uh... Right away, I noticed some fairly decent improvements with the way things were working, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I hope everyone's doing well. That's all of our canola has been harvested, so I think we can sneak in the back gate here. Lovely. Yeah, I still get some incredible frame drops down here by this broiler. Wow. Unbelievable. Although it's funny. When I was uh, not near the farm, like where your spawn point is and all of that, when you first come in here, yeah, I was getting some uh, rather incredible like 60 frame blah 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 but yeah it's all choppy here again for some reason so and i think it's something to do with that broiler mod seems to me it did that on a few maps although now it's not maybe it's this kamaz truck <laughs> i don't know i'll figure it out hmm. now the other thing i was doing if i can figure out where the heck they are if I stand on these tires, oh, perfect. There we go. Somewhere I have our forager. Let's see if we can find that, shall we? Not you or you. Oh, we've got those sunflowers to take down at some point. Oop. You not requiring nothing? No? You have no milk to give me? None at all, eh? Oh, actually, I'm not getting a uh, fill symbol at all. Hmm. There you are. Oh, and it's absolutely full, too, isn't it? Alrighty. So, let's quickly head this over to the BGA and dump it off, shall we? Yes, indeed. Uh... Tuck that in, and let's fold that up. Perfect. And let me guess, the BGA is going to be way over on the other side. Nope, it's actually behind us. Cool. And there we go. Let's sneak out here. Yeah, 
Yeah, this John Deere is a pretty good little mod. I've used it on quite a few maps. But uh, I am kind of anxious to try the uh, the mod contest one. The uh, Chrome, is it an 850, I believe? A little bit of a tight corner there. You know what? I think. Let's do that. That should be a lot less hassle in the long run. Wow. This map is just so tight. <sighs> what is going on here? Oh, lovely. Well, so much for that. Let's just reattach it. Can I get out the other side in this field? No, of course not. There's only one way in and one way out. Like every other field and entrance in this map. Boy, I'll tell you, I'm sometimes just ready to say the heck with it. Let's do uh, our other map and let's do something like maybe Root in Upper Swabia or something and just get rid of this completely. Because you can't... Oh, here we're going to have the same thing. There's only going to be one entrance. Yeah, it drives me nuts. Alright, let's go. We have to drive 30 miles out of our way because you don't bother putting any exits. See, this is the only way they could figure out how to put a 90 degree entrance in. There we go. And I think we've already got some started here, if I remember correctly. End bin, yes indeed, the end bin. Alright, let's get our second trailer. time. I'm going to try and pull ahead before we get it hung up. Because holy, last time by the time I hit the gas pedal we were already stuck on the pile and we ended up dumping the whole thing right in the back. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Stop you there for a minute. More or less. <laughs> and let's hop in you. Get a little bit of compression going on, shall we? I'm gonna have to find that rear weight mod that you used to be able to get for this thing for the Lee Bears. Because it fit this one as well and it really helped. Let's have a look at our compression rate 88, 91, 95, 90. <laughs> uh oh. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Get rid of a little of this, a little of that, a little of this. There we go. Okay. Ooh, 13%, 120,000. We could actually blanket it now if we wanted to. I think we're going to throw some uh, gear on there. Go a little ways over and then back down. Nice. That's a little better. It does actually start to push it all down after a bit, eh? to uh, actually cover it until we get all of that out of there because <coughs> I do believe we have a fair bit of a field left to go so 
Let's get the whiny farmer back in his tractor. Alright, come on, dude. Oops, you didn't see me cut through the hedge, did you? No, of course not. Of course not. Alright, let's get you unfolded. Let's get you oop. And begin the machine. Entree. Hello? Oh, oh there we go. Lovely. Ooh. You really can't quite see the uh, the outer tips of these, can you? That's sort of different. Oh well, we'll just have to uh, use our superior farming skills. Alrighty, and apparently that was about that. And in as tight as we can, lovely. And we're off. Who are we ever off? <laughs> there we go. Alright, we've got a lot of this to do. Um, there is one more field of corn as well. So, uh, as I said, I'm thinking we might harvest some of it just as corn. I'd like to see what we get out of this field. It looks like we're going to do fairly well by the looks of things, isn't it? And, yeah. We're just going to head straight through here. Because the more weird little corners and angles we make, the more weird little corners and angles we'll make. Huh, the mirrors don't work on this thing either. Never noticed that before. Because like I say, I'm definitely running uh, a high enough res now to be uh, actually seeing them. Like it is, uh, you get mirrors if you're on high or better, so. There we go. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that whole uh, GeForce Experience program. Because, uh, well, I guess probably because the first time I had it optimize a game, it uh, basically, even though I didn't really have any issues with the game was playing, it seemed to think that uh, it really needed to dumb down the graphics a bunch to be optimal. So I sort of uh, got rid of it. And then just after Windows 10 started to roll out big time, where lots of people were using it, I was watching uh, uh, Tested on YouTube. And uh, basically, well, I guess if you guys don't know who they are, you're, you're just not geeky enough. But um, So I was watching there, and they were uh, talking about, well, what software do you sort of have to ensure you have on your computer? Like, if you had to go no matter what operating system before I'll install it has got to be compatible with the following things and oddly enough the entire group agreed on one of the things that they would was uh, that the uh, GeForce experience I guess they were running NVIDIA cards probably Titans or something but um, yeah so uh, I thought that rather odd but the same thing, when I went to that thing, it suggested that if I wanted to run at 1920 with my old card, 1920 by 1080, i.e. 1080p or 1080i def or whatever you guys want to call it, um, I would have to run settings on low. So I was actually running them on medium, which is more than it would, you know, than it said. So it, it would always come up and say that I, my settings were not optimized. So, uh, as I said, this time now that I switched to the 750 Titanium, they're actually coming up as uh, Ultra being optimized. And I never played Far Cry 3. I know Far Cry 4 is out now, but I never played 3 because it looked like crud the way I was able to run it on this machine. So, uh, I noticed when I installed the new drivers and it installed the new GeForce Experience blah 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 thing, um, it also set them to ultra for that, 
So yeah, I think I might have got a pretty decent card. And I'm getting much better frames here. It was just that one spot I get a terrible frame drop. Although again, not as bad as it was before, certainly. Alright, how are we doing back here? 24,000. I sometimes forget that uh, forage harvesters will just keep on a cutting. They don't care how full your trailer is. Yeah, I think I did about a half a row while the thing shuddered there. It's going 60,000, 60,000, 60,000. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I take it that means you're full. Alrighty, we're out of here. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, I've got... Uh, wow. Yeah, a couple more... Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> holy smokes, this is a big field. You know, it's one of the things that I find some maps don't balance properly. Because, I mean, to be practical about playing this, you'd really want to be out here with something that's much bigger, you know, to forge this field, let's face it. Because it's probably going to take me well over an hour of real time to do this. But, uh, then you have to look at it as how big stuff can you actually manage. Like, this John Deere is not physically all that large compared to, like, the Chromes. You know? So, start trying to push one of those things around on these 90 degree corners, and boy, oh boy. I'm sure all you guys could do it, but I'd be at a total bloody loss. And you're not, are you? Oh, that was so close, man. It really was. Like, it was a Valium attempt. Ah, oh, you're still not going to do it. Oh, I just hate you so much. Do, 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 do. Look at that, eh? <laughs> the man has skills. That's alright, there are hedges if we want to run a forage harvester through them. We'll darn well run a forage harvester through them. So yeah, same thing. I'm not um, all that impressed with that 430 um, combine that we're using. For one, it its harvest speed is 22 km an hour. So it, it, even for, for the little that I know, it just feels so unrealistic. I mean, this thing at 10 feels like it's doing a pretty darn good job. And like I say, even if it is going to take me an hour, I don't feel like I'm doing something unrealistic or ridiculous. Um, that and I'm pretty sure that it does, uh, there's something a little off with one of the animations or something and it does cause a lot of frame drop. Like not frame drop, frame rate drop, my apologies, those are two completely different animals. Um, so yeah, and in fact maybe like the uh, 750 or 770 or something in that range again would be more suitable for these fields. Although, even on a trailer, try pulling a 45-foot head around these corners. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. It's going to catch. So, we'll have to see. We might do a, a few more episodes on that. Because there's a lot of maps that offer everything this one does and more. You know? And uh, there's a lot of maps that would be kind of fun to check out. Including the other one that we're doing. Which everybody seems to... Uh, Seems to like either that or the novelty just hasn't worn off. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I agreed I would shut up about 10 minutes ago now. So I'll do that for you guys. I'll call it an episode here. And I'll keep going up and down, up and down, and, you know, up and down. And every once in a while I might do something really bizarre and go back and forth. But, uh... I think you guys are going to miss that because I'm going to call the episode here. So, till next time, guys. Take care of each other, folks. If you have any suggestions or anything you want to see on this map or other or, you know, as usual, many mod links or anything you'd like to see, just uh, let me know. Big, big comment section down below. I have yet to see it actually fill completely up, so uh, feel free to use it. Feel free to hit the like button, too. Always helps out the channel. Till next time, guys. Take care of each other, folks. This is Miss BC7. Ciao for now. And around you go.